For this video review, we're going to take a look at my personal G.I. Joe Declassified series. This is my personal take on Major Blood. So let's do a quick 360 of the new looking action figure. To achieve this look, we have to make a major disassembly of two action figures. So the two action figures that we need to disassemble is going to be G.I. Joe Declassified Series Major Blood and G.I. Joe Declassified Series Sergeant Stalker. And the tools of the trade that we need are my wife's old hair dryer, the one that Nicolas Cage would use, Con Air 1875, and the last item that you need for this custom project is going to be a teaspoon. So let me explain. The parts that we have on the table are from a G.I. Joe classified series action figure. So we have the Sergeant Stalker head, parts of the body of Major Blood, and parts of the body of Flint. Well, of course, I just picked this up from my parts bin just to explain the anatomy of a G.I. Joe classified series action figure. So let's take on the body. So once you apply heat to the body, this area, so you could immediately pop off the head and the head would come off in two places. So the neck and the head, it's going to detach from this point. Now with regards to taking off the arms, it's going to be just the same procedure. Just apply heat on the arm. So for example, this arm is attached to that section. Just apply 30 seconds of heat in this area and take out your teaspoon and raise that arm up this way and scoop that ball from below the arm so immediately this thing is going to pop off now with a little bit more of heat you could still apply heat on this section to disassemble the ball from the rest of the arm of course if you apply heat on this section you're going to detach the hand sets and if you apply heat to this section and if you have an AR-15 punch set, just take the appropriate punch tool to, pin, uh, to take out the pins on this arm. So, with regards to the man briefs. So, actually, when you apply heat to this area, so just below the crutch, the connecting joints so this connects to this and just apply once again 30 seconds of heat and you could immediately pop out the entire leg of the action figure and take the diapers or the man briefs off so just easy very easy procedure and if you want to take off the boots or change the boots it is also possible because that is attached this way apply a little bit of heat to the boot not on the shin but on the boot to soften this area up so you could easily pop it off so taking um or taking apart a gi joe classified series action figure is scary at first but actually it is very doable so for your downtime or relax time of about an hour every day if you wish or have a certain idea to make a custom or a declassified series gi joe action figure you could do it with just this two simple tools and no need to really expound on paint procedures and anything really fancy just a hair dryer and a teaspoon and mix and match okay so let's examine the color combination basically of a major blood character well it's a dark brown and matte black combo so even in the old action figure the 80 series the uh, major blood figure would always be very dark 
So I made a personal take to really liven the figure up to give it more character and more value because somehow with this body the body armor does not really complement this body it makes that body armor really stand out that you would think that the um, action figure is suffering from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD um, because of how the chest would look it looks barrel chested so i made changes to the action figure instead of um, retaining it in its present condition i just couldn't stand looking at it anymore because i wanted more out of the character so i took out um, several um, gi joe classified series stalker action figures purchased them to make custom figures out of the lot that I already have on board. So let's identify parts on this action figure. So let's start with the head. So the head, you have the option of using this beret, which comes from a G.I. Joe classified series flint, or you could still possibly use the original helmet that comes with major blood. But just for this custom build i'm using that beret so not to really shroud the look on the head unit or head scalp of this action figure wherein when you take the helmet off you will be surprised at how good looking or intimidating that head unit is so let's go to the body so the body armor belongs to major blood this necklace of dog tags belongs to Major Blood. Of course, the backpack, the missile launcher set belongs to Major Blood. So with the pistol belt and the humongous revolver. Okay, so moving towards the arms that is going to be the arm set and the ball joints or shoulder joints of G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Stalker. But the only thing that I took out of the um, right arm is going to be biceps up to the hands. So I did not anymore make use of the ball of the arm of the original Classified Series Major Blood because somehow this ball with this protector which is actually also well okay it's okay it's it's movable but it throws the balance of the figure off because you still have another piece on this section which actually just throws the balance of the figure off now to make the uh, distinction that major blood has a robotic arm so instead of using the gloves set that belong to the major blood figure instead of using this i instead used a neutral toned handset the same color as the color tone on the head unit and the neck of major blood so when you take a look at the figure you're really going to notice the robotic arm that major blood sports okay so going towards the legs so the man briefs down towards the shin area just over here that belongs to G.I. Joe classified series sergeant stalker but the boots are major blood the dive set is going to be G.I. Joe classified series um, sergeant stalkers accessory but with regards to the pistol belt and that piece uh, and that um, weapon that belongs to well of course i already mentioned it i forgot that belongs to major blood so it's time that we're going to um, compare or uh, pair this with the other cobra gi joe classified series action figures that i have on board um other notable thing is because i uh, combined the legs and the boots of major blood this boot set actually is about two centimeters higher compared to other gi joe classified series action figures so when you pair it with a sergeant stalker figure it's going to increase the total height 
of the action figure. So let me take the other um, troopers that I have on board. So we have Python Patrol Cobra Viper and Python Patrol Cobra Officer. So we have Cobra Ali Viper and Cobra Battle Android Trooper. We have Zartan and Storm Shadow. We have G.I. Joe Classified Series Tiger Force Outback and G.I. Joe Classified Series Duke. And we save the best pairing for last. We have the Cobra Commander. So if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.